We just got an Uber to go literally um, 200 yards down the road. Look, he's. <laughs> he's uh, it's a good job with locals. <laughs> Good morning, so we are just leaving our Airbnb, the sun is shining and we're off into the centre of San Jose um, to meet our friend um, from the UK who lives in uh, part of the year in Costa Rica, Fez, who is going to show us the uh, centre of San Jose and uh, we're going to go and find some food in the market. So Marianne, Marianne is just ordering an Uber behind me. Um, She's getting professional at this Uber thing. So, uh, Although, where are we going? Is it the National Theatre? National Theatre. Okay. So in case you're new to Uber, as we are, it's an app that you download on your phone and you literally, you just put where you're going, you link your credit card so you don't have to exchange cash or negotiate any fees. And it's an absolutely brilliant service. It shows you how far away the driver is on a map so you can see where they are, gives you their car and their reg number and their name and ratings about them. And uh, it's as simple as that. So we've got a driver called... Kenneth. Kenneth, who is arriving in a... Uh, Suzuki Swift. Suzuki Swift. I've got the registration number and he's actually got a 4.9 rating out of 5. Well there you go. I'm so, expecting great things. So we're going to go out onto the road now and wait for Kenneth, our cool Uber driver. And uh, it says it's only a couple of minutes away so it should be here anytime now. What, what I love is on the app it actually shows you the little car driving, it's so cool. Okay, so the driver is fabulous. He's called Kenneth and <laughs> it's not his mistake, it's my mistake. I actually put in the National Theatre Company instead of, como se llamas? National... National Theatre. Theatre. Yeah, it's in the centre. So I've, I've given the wrong address. So um, Kenneth is going to take us to the one in the centre. The National Theatre in La Plaza de la Cultura, <laughs> which is the culture place of um, the National Theatre. There you go. So um, our fabulous driver explained to us when we're trying to find it on uh, Uber again, that is the address that we put in. So now we've had our trip, I have to rate the driver and obviously he will get five stars. Uh, maybe that's why he has uh, got such high ranking. Amazing. So we were worried that we were going to keep our friend Fez waiting because we're like 15, 20 minutes late. But he's even later than us. So that's fine. So he should be here soon. He's just messaged. He's on the bus. <laughs> Sorry, so sorry. Okay, come here, mate. Sorry. Caught the buzz. Not shy, are you, Fez? Well, <laughs> sometimes, you know. <laughs> so, welcome to Costa Rica. We are with our friends Fez and Katia, and we're in front of the oh, National really? Theatre. So this is the Grand Hotel behind us beautiful building and this is the um, center of town we're gonna go walking off now towards the food hall um, and get some food because we are jolly hungry this morning so uh, let's go on our way to the food hall So Katia, who is a local, has just told us about the street situation. Apparently it's all done in blocks and the avenues go this way and the streets go that way. And just for one just behind us is actually zero avenue and zero street. It's actually the crossroads at right at the centre of town. Behind us you can see the central market here in San Jose where they sell a selection of 
foods, raw foods, street foods, clothes, you name it, you can probably find it in this market. So we're gonna go check it out and see if we can find something to eat because I am starving. Okay, so we've come down to the central market now. We've found the food area, which looks absolutely amazing. And our friends Fez and Katia have um, brought us to this one little restaurant. Now Fez, we know um, back from the UK, uh, from when we had the pub back in the day. And uh, he now uh, is married to this lovely lady, Katia, uh, who lives here in San Jose. And they're gonna take us around and show us the site. So we're lucky to have local knowledge today. Yes, so for our drinks today, we've got, um, Katia's ordered a tamarind juice. Uh, this one is Guanabana. Guanabana. <laughs> and Fez is on coffee. And then, I, then I've got a fruit juice with lots of different fruits. Um, so we're going to try these different juices. So I'm really interested to try the tamarind because in the Far East we used to cook a lot with tamarind and it's normally very sort of bittery sour. Yeah. That's beautiful, really sweet. Yeah. Not how I expect that when you taste fresh tamarind, it's uh, very different. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. And uh, this one is the... Uh, Guanavana. 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 I still can't say that. Mmm, lovely. Let's try that one. Quite hard to explain what it tastes like. It tastes a cr it's like a sweet like soya bean. Like it tastes like soya milk a little Does bit. It? Doesn't I it? think it tastes a bit pear-y. Mm, there you go. So we've got a real feast going on here. I've ordered some chicken, it comes with rice, some uh, chips and some salad. Yeah, I've got a nice um, special soup with different mixed little vegetables all chopped up. We've got fried chicken as well, which just looks lovely. We've got some cheese tortilla. Mm. We've got a seafood soup. Lovely. And we have meat and vegetables and we're gonna try everything. Looks Isn't absolutely it? delicious. And the, uh, the meat and vegetables comes with some soup and some rice. And uh, there's enough food here to feed a family of 12, so we won't be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely delicious. If you do make it to the Central Market in San Jose, I would recommend this eatery. Um, absolutely delicious. And we're full, we're completely full. But they've given us some puddings and um, Marianne's gonna give it a go. Yeah. Now, it's a rice pudding, but there's a few little bits in it. There's some dark bits. And there's two different dark bits. One is a bit of clove. And the other one is a raisin that has been soaked in a cinnamon. It looks very similar to the rice pudding we get back in England, doesn't it? Arroz con leche. Arroz which con is leche. Rice with milk. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's lovely. It's really strong, actually. The cinnamon and the clove and the milk's really, really creamy. But the milk, the flavours in that milk and the rice is delicious. It's mine. <laughs> It's all right, there she's got two. My turn. <laughs> so right in the middle of the central market is a food area with loads of different food stalls and stuff. And uh, it's well worth a, a trip down here to try some local food. And uh, we're just gonna go and see what else the market has to offer. And we've had drinks that have got lots of sugar in it and I'm starting Woo! to feel the rush. <laughs> So we're just walking around the big central market and there is everything on offer. There's loads of fresh fruit and vegetables, there are sweets, there are meats, there are herbs and spices. Oh, hello, hello. Cameron people. <laughs> My rat looks very small compared to your setup. We're just we've chuckling. Just, we've just seen somebody 
vlogging or vlogging or making a movie with a really big camera. Yeah. And we've got our little GoPro on the oh, end of this stick. Such and a little GoPro. It's not about the size. That's what they Marianne's say. Marianne's got camera envy, but it's how you use your camera. camera. And I've got a little rat and they've got a huge rat. <laughs> Walking along in uh, San Jose in the town centre, and there is this most beautiful colonial style building. Um, it's the post office. The architecture in parts of San Jose is very colonial, um, in other parts, it's very Latino. So it's so lovely to see the diverse cultures and the diverse architecture. So, um, thank you, Costa Rica. We are having a fantastic time. Just behind the National Theatre, which is over there, there is this building here, and it's easily recognisable because there are some big funnels coming out of the ground. So if you see these funnels, you're in the right place to be at the Gold Museum. Here at this museum, they have an archaeological um, explanation, they show artefacts, they show different arts, and it is the Museum of Gold and it's based on a pre-Columbian finds. So if you're interested in museums and archaeology, this is the place for you. And it's 13 US dollars per person. So we're now um, walking the streets of San Jose looking for a shop that sells drones to see if we can get a Doris Mark II after crashing ours a couple of days ago. And uh, we've looked at the uh, DJI website and apparently there is a couple nearby us. So we're just going to go and see if we can find one and see how much they are. So watch this space. So we've just walked to the shopping centre that we thought it was in, but it's not here. So Katia's just trying to call them um, to see if we can to see if we can find out where they are. Back towards the direction we were, and uh, we think we know where it is now. So fingers crossed. We're just going up to the second floor of a department stall. Apparently they have an electronics department, so we're going to give it a go. If not, they very kindly offered to take us to another branch of Icon, who are the people that supply DJI in Costa Rica. So let's go find some drones. Okay, so we've come into this superstore and I have found a drone. It's a Spider-Man rescue drone and uh, it's a shame it can't rescue Doris, um, but I don't think it's going to be Doris's <laughs> replacement. So back to plan B, and we're probably going to have to get a taxi across town to another shop to see if we can find Doris. So we're doing our best to get another drone. So we're just trying to find the right bus uh, to get us to the shop that we need to go for the drone. Um, bit of a complicated system, but we're getting there. Fez is being silly behind my head, I can tell. I don't believe it. We're on the bus. We're on the bus. We're on the bus. We're going to find a drone shop. How far we got to go? We open. How far are we going? Uh, Maybe four kilometers. Yeah. How exciting. Our first bus in Costa Rica and it cost about 40 50p each. Yeah. Bargain. Bargain. <laughs> okay, that's the bus ride done. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're off to find the shop. So we've got <laughs> we've got we've got about another five minutes drive to um, where this shop is so we're a little bit lost hopefully. so hopefully so we've just ordered another uber so it's two two ubers two ubers and a bus later 
So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Okay. Hey, here comes the Uber, look, he's doing a good job. <laughs> he's blocked the road. Good job, Uber driver. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, is, it, is it we, just here? Is it, is yeah. it really? <laughs> oh my god, that's so, okay. <laughs> okay. So we so we we just got an Uber to go literally um 200 yards down the road. Look, he's. <laughs> he's uh, it's a good job we've been locals. <laughs> okay, so at the moment, we came from center of San Jose, a bus, a Uber, a walk, and we've come to the Icon shop. But although they checked to say they've got one in stock, apparently they don't. So, let's go and see what's happening. Okay, so the saga of the drone continues and actually the Icon shop, they don't have it in stock and apparently they've checked all the stores all, they've, they've checked all their stores in Costa Rica and none of them have a DJA Spark in stock. But not only do they not have them in stock, they're not planning to order any more. So that's actually quite interesting. So I don't think we're getting a drone at the moment. So where we are actually now, the Icon Shop, is the Multi Plaza Disti, which is uh, the East Multi Plaza. And it's a really modern shopping center. The first one that we've actually experienced here in Costa Rica. Um, and it's really, it feels like you're in Dubai or somewhere. Loads of brand names and everything. It's a really nice modern shopping center with all the known brands that you, would, you, that you know. Oh God, my Spanish is so bad. Bell on. <laughs> and what I really like is there are three words written over the door. It is patriotism, histo um, his uh, hang on, cut. Can't, she can't remember. <laughs> so it's um, I'm such an idiot, honestly. I really need to learn to cut and paste addresses. Uh, that's my next lesson after my other Spanish lesson uh, because I have my little book and we're trying very hard. Or 